what it is everybody we back with another reaction video and we'll be reacting to the lion king teaser trailer now i completely forgot this movie was coming out i mean i know disney is pretty much doing a live action movie for everything that they have in there in a disney vault pretty much completely forgot about this movie though i don't know how i remember jungle book but forget about lion king even though I have a long history with the Lion King, which I'll talk about later, but I want to, I want to see what they do because everybody was worried about this at first until was it, the Jungle Book came out. And it's oh well, the CGI was good in that; it should be good in this. Yeah. That you know, that's not a good excuse. Said, well, this would be good just because that was good, but <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. But. Let's see if this tickles my fancy. All right, let me get the volume up. All right, here we go. Nice, letting ya. I remember when I was a kid. I was like, I was watching this. I said, it's weird that. It's a kingdom, but they eat their subjects. <laughs> well, I say, I say, eat the, I say, eat the, the people that rule over as a subject. Yeah, James Earl Jones back. I heard Chirita Ejiofor was in this. I wonder if he's playing Scar or something. I was like, you have to have James Earl Jones. There you go. Who's playing Rafiki? Uh. <laughs> oh, he's going to grow up to kill us. Kill him. <laughs> I don't even. Yeah, true to the voice. Let's see. Michael Key is in this? Everybody gonna cry their little eyes out all over again when uh, Mufasa dies. Spoiler alert! <laughs> if you haven't watched that movie, like, too bad. <laughs> but that looked good. I mean, the siege that looked fine. Um, I mean, of course, if you it looked close enough to animals that it's passable. You know, it's, it's fine. It's not really a big deal we have to wait and see a little bit more like action scenes and stuff like that to really get a good grasp on it and uh what was i gonna say well when, uh, what was i chewing to it for i know james I, who was playing because i know uh Well, I want to say Michael Ironside. That's not who it is. Uh, the guy who, uh, why am I forgetting his name? Uh, Jeremy Irons. Uh, he played Scar in the original, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And, um, cause, uh, yeah, because people were talking about he should come back because they got James Earl Jones back to play Mufasa. But they said that he wasn't coming back. But that, I guess they either they didn't ask him or they didn't give him enough money. But, uh, this movie, like, this movie was, like, a big part of my childhood for about, I want to say six months, maybe less, because I literally watched this movie. There's very few movies that I watched all the way through and then rewatched, like, again, like, I would watch this movie, The Lion King, and I would watch it all the way to the end credits, watch the entire end credits, which was very rare for me to do, even now. And rewind it because cause this was back in the 90s, so uh, we had VHS tapes and VCRs for you kids who don't know what that is. <laughs> and uh, I would rewind it to the beginning and then rewatch it again right there. And I, I remember I would do that 
I would go to school, come home, do my homework, watch Lion King, watch it at least three or four times. I did that so much. I remember my brother, my old, my uh, oldest brother. He would, he got so annoyed by it that he would hide my tape, and I would throw a fit, like, "Why? Where is it?" And, like, and then my dad started telling me, "He's like, you need to stop watching. It's not healthy for you. <laughs> how much you watched." <laughs> And then I think over time, if I remember correctly, I watched it so much that it literally, one day it, it, uh, it got, uh, the VCR ate it up. And, it, and I didn't know how to fix tapes then. I learned like, I think years later, I learned how to fix tape, fix VCRs. I think I was like nine or something when I learned how to do it. And, and then I just didn't have it anymore. So I just stopped, I never watched it again. But uh, until I got it on, I, I think I bought it on DVD like years later. That and like Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory. But that movie, I watched that movie so much. Like, I'm almost kind of embarrassed how much I watched. The only other movie I think I watched like that, who I rewound it right after watching it, was The Crow with Brandon Lee. I watched that like that. I watched it all the way through the credits. And then rewind it and then watch it again. But, uh, who is, I wonder who is playing, um, I wonder who's playing, uh, Scar. Is it Chuata Ejiofor? It, it seemed like, because Chuata Ejiofor is a badass villain. Like, the first time I ever saw Chuata Ejiofor was, um, talking about that man who got killed by that indigenous tribe. Off the coast of uh, India, trying to convert them to Christianity. No, uh, the lion. Oh shit, the lion king. Has anybody seen uh, Serenity, with Chuita Edge for in it as a villain? I can't remember the name of, but he. That's the first time I ever seen him in anything, and he was. Great, and I, like I would, I would watch that movie really just to see uh, him as the uh, as the villain. But yeah, True to Andrew Floyd playing Scar. Okay, yeah, Donald Glover's playing um, Simba. Eric Andre is playing Ed the Hyena. Okay, that that makes. Sense. <laughs> Beyonce playing. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember Beyonce. There's some Beyonce playing Nala. Seth Rogen is playing. Pumba? Yep. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? I got a smudge on my computer. <laughs> Heard that. Because I ate some Thanksgiving food. I don't know how that got on me. You playing Pumba? I'm not looking at all of these. Why well, kind of, uh, damn it. Now I want to know who plays, uh, Timon. I was, uh, how you say that? Billy Eschner? Eschner? Billy Eschner? Oh, he playing, um, the bird. Who's the bird's name? Oh, the what's it, John uh, Kenny? Kenny? The, he was he played uh, the Black Panther's father. He's playing Rafiki. Okay. All right, cool. Well, that's cool. But it looked good to me. Uh, well, I have to wait and see if it's actually any good. Disney been they're pretty good with their uh, live action adaptations. I mean, some yeah, some of them you know well liked, some of them don't like. It's kind of hard because they're going for of course the older audience, people who grew up in these, and you know force their kids like you're gonna watch this because this was my childhood, so it's gonna be yours too. <laughs> uh, crowd, and you know it's kind of hard when you when you're nostalgic about something. 
and then you see it redone in a different way it, it could be the same thing i mean literally beat for beat the exact same thing and people will find it one way or another to dislike it like because i know when this was they was talking about doing this like you don't need to do because lion king is probably other than toy story i would think lion king is probably one of the most popular Disney movies of all time like I would say it's above pretty much in the aggregate they like Jungle Bug uh, Cinderella any of that stuff I say that The Lion King is probably way above that most so because a lot of those princess movies are probably a lot of you know male children didn't look at all that much like a lot of stuff I didn't look at until I went to school and we had a movie day um, or days because it usually took two days to watch those movies uh, and we watched Snow White and the Seven Doors or Cinderella or something like that like I didn't really watch that stuff on my own like, I, the first time I saw Beauty and the Beast was at school <laughs> I don't even think I yeah I didn't own any of that stuff you know because I was a boy and we didn't it, it didn't seem like it was for me watching this journey of a woman and her journey of becoming a princess type thing you know but I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know me I'll try to draw like I like the movie just we didn't I didn't I wasn't clamoring for my parents to buy it for me that's the thing so I never I never owned it but uh the uh but you know like I said Lion King is probably one of the most popular very popular movie from Disney other than like well animated movie other than like Toy Story now but and it's just it's it, you have to wait and see to see how people like if it's if it's good I mean it's gonna be, people gonna still it's gonna be still people who just like oh I prefer the original but even it could be the exact same movie it's just you know live action <laughs> I mean it's still animated pretty much it's just CGI you know but uh, it's computer generated or whatever you say rather than I guess drawn but it's you know, still fake pretty much but I mean who knows it, it could still it was still the same thing it's still the same thing it's where it's kind of like I kind of I, I do kind of say what's the point if you're gonna make a new movie but it's the exact same thing it's just you know computer generated now rather than like hand-drawn animated I kind of like what's the point it's kind of like that movie uh what was it psycho what they did the it, it was basically a remake a re, uh, it was yeah you usually say a remake but it was the exact same movie pretty much beat for beat it just had it was just shot better because you know it was, uh, it was more more recent movie with different actors so i mean i was like kind of like what's the what was the, the point of that you know but i mean i mean people like it and i, I think it 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 drew people to go see the original of a newer generation who hadn't seen the original movie. Where well, the people who had seen the original movie were like, what was the point in this? It's the exact same movie. Beef beef, nothing's changed. So what was the point of putting money into this, you know? <laughs> if you're gonna do the exact same thing all over you. But then that's when you that's when you run a problem because then if they do that and you really change anything as someone who is uh, a fan of the original it's not gonna like the remake or reboot or sequel or whatever like that. People always say that like the sequel is never good as the original, or the reboot is never good as the original, whatever. No matter whether it's, it stays, if it's pretty much the exact same movie, it's just updated with you know different actors, of course, and shot better, say, or cinematography or whatever, or they completely redo. The story or change certain things and like oh I like the better one is this way oh I like the better one. God, well, you know it, you're not gonna please you're not well you you shouldn't try to please everybody but at the same time like I was like why sink sink money into this but I was like at the same time it's Disney and Disney knows they're gonna make money off this people will go see even if the exact same movie people will go see this just because it's Disney and they associate that with Marvel and everything of course like people go see a Marvel movie just because it's Marvel you know 
Because Marvel, I hadn't, I didn't even, maybe I didn't even know his movie coming out. Or I have no interest in his character whatsoever. But it's Marvel. I'm going to go see it. <laughs> that just, <laughs> that's just how it works. And Disney is, Disney's pretty much been like that. Like, it's a Disney movie. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen people go see, uh, like, adults go see, um, like, was it Toy Story 3? I think that was the last time I went to the theater. And I didn't go see it. But I saw some people going to the theater to go see Toy Story 3, and they had no children with them. And they looked like they were probably in their, probably like, I would say early, mid-20s. I mean, they could have been younger, like late teens, but they... I would guess they were, they, they were young adults. And I was like, hmm, it's interesting that, because I would think, you know, you don't go see that unless you have kids, <laughs> unless you have children. I, I took uh, my cousin to go see a movie when I was much younger. And uh, I wanted to, what was the movie? I remember what show we went to, it was like Evergreen Park. I can't remember, I can't remember the movie, but I only went because I went. I wanted to go see it, but I took I took her because I really wanted to go see it. But I, damn it, what was the name of that movie? Now I'm blanking on the year. I had to look. I had to because I had to look up. It had to be. I think I might have been because I came back to Chicago for a visit. I think I might have been. 16? Ah, whatever. That's, that's the, the waste of time. <laughs> I can't even remember it off the top of my head. But, um, especially when I was 16, I was... Like, uh, 16 years ago. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. We have to wait and see how this does. But, uh... What did y'all think of it? Did y'all like the, the teaser? Were y'all ex expecting this? Did you, uh, let me know what y'all think. Just ask me. Let me. Just let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And y'all can give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And um, I'll see y'all later. Peace.